Hi everyone, I'm talking about a project that I worked on called, I have been working on called Gender Avenger uh, that's focused on measuring women's inclusion in the public dialogue. <coughs> uh, this is sort of the information about Gender Avenger. The mission is to build a community that ensures women are represented in the public dialogue. Uh, it was started by someone who, uh, a friend of mine, Gina Glantz, who worked for a long time at SEIU and generally has been really involved in politics. Um, one of the big things, there are two main things that Gender Avenger does. One is we sort of highlight when women are not sufficiently included in uh, different sorts of things. So here's an example um, where Esquire did a list of 80 best books every man should read, and 79 of them were written by men. Um, <coughs> and so Gender Avenger put together this chart using the GA Tally app. This is sort of my contribution. Um, and tweeted it at Esquire a lot and encouraged their supporters to comment on the article saying and suggest like female authors that should have been included. And it actually worked. Esquire apologized and then, uh, as it says here, worked with um, eight female literacy powerhouses to come up with a new list that was much more even. Um, so this is sort of a general thing. The GA Tally app is available to everyone. Um, and there's an app you can download or it works online and you can share it on Facebook or Twitter or if you're worried that you'll get in trouble for, with work because it's sort of a sensitive place where you shouldn't be calling people out, uh, there's also an option to have us tweet it for you um, so that you don't have to get in trouble. <laughs> um, the other thing that Gender Avenger does is it asks people to take the Gender Avenger pledge, um, basically promising not to be on panels that have no women on them. Um, and there's a big long list of people and you should totally pay, take the pledge. Um, and there's some ongoing stuff. Um, they're ramping up now to adopt the GA tally for use uh, by groups that focus on racial equality. Uh, and also I think it would be really cool to combine this with our men talking too much because this was largely around um, conferences and it would be really cool to like measure how many men and women are on a given panel and then also measure how much people end up talking on those panels. Um, so, or at least like feature it on our website. So yeah, that's it, thanks.